Okay, so for the sake of the video, maybe, perhaps, probably I'll wear this. No, I'm just kidding. It's way too tight. It's only good for pictures, only short wear, whatever that means, if that even makes sense. Loose hairs. Right, so good for pictures, not good for long time usage, these ears. So off they go. I just thought, good thing I have a mirror over here, and I totally just messed up them curls. But yeah, I just had to, as this is going to be a Disneyland haul. So I went back to Disney. I know I went basically just yesterday, it feels like this was spring break. And so here I am again. That was just for the sake of the video. We do have annual passes right now, or I guess past singular me and my family and we hope to go again pretty soon maybe one more time this year and then sometime before this coming spring break so right hope that made sense my mind is kind of sort of everywhere right now i have a lot going on in my life nowadays there's a lot of things and stuff coming up in the future there's a lot of things and stuff going on right now so right that was just for the sake of the video i've probably said that now a billion and five times now the music, hope it's not too loud. I'm going to be nice and only like play it once for you guys, one single time. So just want to get that out there to you guys. And right, for the haul. Now this is a Disneyland haul slash one item from Target type haul. So we can just call it the Disneyland trip haul this month of August. And I did go this past week, so it was a Tuesday trip till Monday of this week. We're at August 29th, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. And so it was Tuesday of last week and it lasted, we're going to stop this now. Right. So then it was about a week, just under. And I also saw some family in California aside from going to Disneyland and having a sweet, awesome time. And so that was really, really cool. And I do have this little treat right here. I have mint gum in my mouth currently. And so there would be a terrible, awful clash of taste bud problems because that makes sense. So yeah, my cousin, one of my cousins, he recently got, got back from Peru. And so we have this really interesting treat. I had way too many at their place, but I know that my cousin Bailey had way more. So shout out to Jordan, real cool kid. Glad that he's now back after that two year mission. And Oh, I think that's my mom. There might be a part two because I do have errands. Like I said, a lot going on. One second. Hello? No, that's totally fine. Okay. That gives me more time. Okay, no, that sounds good. That's perfect. So 15. Okay. You too. I'll see ya. Okay, bye. Good news! And it would be 15 more minutes. So now I'm not in as much of a hurry as I had previously thought. And this can go a lot more smoothly and I don't have to talk as fast even though that's what I do. That is talk so fast. And so right, let's just go right in. Hopefully there's going to be no part two. That might be kind of sort of annoying to break it up. So, right, Target was my first purchase. Well, I wish I bought the whole store. <laughs> they do have some other things that I'm interested in, especially this one bag. I've been on the lookout for a duffel type bag, and they have the perfect one for me. It's a light pink. Adorable. Is this still going? I'm really self-conscious about this right now. Already four minutes in. Holy poop. Right, so may or may not be heading right back to Target. My money is very low currently and I'm trying to save up for ILP. I want to go to China to teach English and this is among other things. I'm saving up for some other things like online things. And so I want to do that as well, just trying to figure out wants and needs and likes, things like that. So, right, we're going to go back to Target. So this is kind of sort of a mod style 
it's a retro type shoe as well as a modern type shoe at the same time. Can't really explain, can't really describe, so I'll just more show you. So I believe they're suede, that's what they feel like anyway. They're this really, really pretty purple. It's almost like a violet, not quite lilac. I don't even know if that's the right shade. So they have this chunkier heel. It's probably like two inches, I would say, around, give or take more or less. And then it just has the little ankle strap that obviously goes around the ankle because that's what ankle straps do. And then it is going to show off your toe and the vast majority of your foot. There's this little strap right here that goes over the bottom-ish area of your foot. And then the white, this is not white, the tan part is kind of sort of squishy so it's going to be good for comfort. And I didn't understand this at first, but... It says a new day. I was like, and E-A-W-Y, but no. Can you guys see that? Let me see if you can see. You see, it's very, very interesting, isn't it? So, right, these guys were $25. There was no tax in Oregon. We did pass through Oregon. And so $24.99, I got a penny back as I gave them a $25 bill. So that's really, really exciting. They had my size, which was amazing, nine and a half. That was the last in my size, the last one. And right, we're gonna go to the box. This is actually a size 10. They didn't have a box for the shoe, a box for my exact size, which I found interesting. So there's that, really, really excited about that. It's gonna be a good pop of color. I feel like it can go with a lot or actually Maybe I'll just make it go with a lot. I'll just have it kind of mismatch. I think that would be really, really cute and look really, really fun. So this was Clackamas, and this was on the 21st, so that was basically day one of our trip. Maybe, maybe not. And while we were there at Target, I fell in love with this cutesy little unicorn gift card design. And my dad, he put $5 on it. He and my mom, they decided to treat me and my brother, Dakota, for the Disneyland trip. And so they spent a little bit of money on us. I do want to draw this really, really bad. And even when I do use it up, use those $5 towards something, I'm going to still keep the card and probably put it somewhere in my room. Not probably, I will. And... Let's go to what I got first at Disney. Oh wait, that's not first, is it? Well, it was either the patches or this. It was probably the patches, which I'll show you in a sec. But that was my parents' purchase, so that will be the second thing that I'll show you, at least Disney-wise. So this is what I got. It's not very exciting, or it doesn't look very exciting anyway. It's just in this tube here, which will go to my dad. I'm just borrowing it for now. And so inside is this masterpiece, this magical artist's work. Well, artist's magical work. The artist is magical too, and I even gave her a hug. Let me just get the picture for you so that you guys can see for yourself and get an idea. I have over a thousand photos right now, a lot from Disney. Okay, so let's go get to that one part. Oh, actually it's not even in my camera roll. It's actually a photo sent from my dad. So let me just show you guys. Okay. So here we have it. This is my favorite word, Euphoria. One sec here. Oh, I hope it doesn't glare on you. Can you see that at all? I really want it to pick up. So it's this colorful rainbow red through, there we go, red through purple, every color in between. And, right, it's my favorite word. I just love that word enough to almost name my future child this. But I want to be nice to my kid and I want them to have a hippie name, but th not that much of a hippie name. And so I think it will look pretty sweet just framed on my wall, on my wall collage. I'm really, really excited about that. And that was $50 for that. My parents, they paid for something else, which is in the tube. And that was just my name. 
It's kind of sort of perfect. Euphoria and my name Emily, they both start with E, right? And so the practice, the test run that the artist showed me, you know, she wanted to show me what the letter E would look like. And so anyway, she showed me and I loved it. And then she just added my name after I told her that my name is Emily and that that would kind of work. So my parents did that, which was like $20, which is crazy just for a little square with E in my name. But hey, it's okay. So I'll also be framing that. Can't show you right now. It's going to say stay safe and sound in the two right now and I'll frame it and then show you eventually show you the final completed look and so there's that so that's going to be pretty sweet it already is it just has a lot of glitter so I can't unfold it we don't want the glitter to get everywhere and I just want to wait to leave you guys in a little bit of suspense so really really excited and we're gonna go to what my parents got me. So these are the little patches. Oh, and look at these bags. They have the Pixar Fest right now because they have this Pixar thing going on. That was very, very vague of me. I don't know much about it, so I can't say much about it. And we have something very similar on our family fridge. And it's just got the Mickey Mouse ears, face in black, and then the white glove, and then those red pants, and then that golden shoe. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm going to be checking a lot if you guys can see things, because I want you guys to see things, and I want to make sure. So this was, does it say? $12.99, and so I'm really excited about that. I keep on saying excited. It's true. I am very, very excited. Hiccup? Gosh kind of a hiccup or burp. We've been over this. That's what I do. I make weird sounds. So, right. Going back to that, I do have a denim shirt slash jacket type thing. It's a button up more like. And I just stick on a bunch of different patches. And I really like the shape of that. I like the square look that that has. And so I'll just do that around the back area of this clothing item. And I just like to collect patches from different places, different trips, my travels, and just stick them on there. And it's going to go on a mannequin in my future closet, my closet which will be big, because, you know. So, right, now we're going to go to Chip, which was my final and last purchase. So, my parents got me the gift card and the Mickey Mouse, and then I got myself a mug, the shoes, and then also the euphoria by the way like i'm still in euphoria can you hear me i'm still in euphoria over that like seriously and it is spelled right i looked i checked them 12 times okay look at this wrapping it makes me think of a pineapple do you see that weird okay i'm doing pretty good i'm not done with this Okay, we're almost done here yet. Wanna make time for you guys. Oh my gosh, this keeps going. This was perfect for the plane, it didn't break, and I'm just itching my nose off of these. Okay. Almost there. show you this little thing. So, okay, right. So, this guy right here, it's Chip from Beauty and the Beast. It's almost like a physical pun to me. It's a cup and a cup. Does that make sense? It's a little teacup in more ways than one almost. Just an oversized teacup, I guess you could say. So, it just has this classic little face on it. I love how the nose is the handle. It does have a cutesy little chip here. I made a snap and I saved the snap about well, of what this guy said he came up to me he was in a little group probably family friends or whatever and he saw these rows of little chip mugs and he saw that I was interested in trying to pick my favorite one and he said don't pick that one that's chipped and then 
I just thought in my mind how hilarious that was and also just how, well, <clears throat> wait, do I have this checked off? Okay, right. So then I was like, well, what's a few more chips, right? Like, who cares if it destroys itself on the plane? So there's that cutesy little chip. And I love those colors there at the bottom. We got the blue, the purple, and the pink <coughs> voice crack. <coughs> so $22.99. I added it up, I calculated it, and I spent around $9,200 with tax and everything. And so I'm going to say it again. <coughs> I'm real excited about that. Oh, his eyes are going kind of up in like an eye roll. Adorable. And my dad, <coughs> it was my parents' anniversary while we were out of town. <coughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. This is so obnoxious and annoying. <coughs> right, so he got my mom this vase in the shape of the Mickey Mouse glove. And it's like he's holding the flowers, which is just too cute. And that's on my list of what to get next. When I go back, just want to think about it, want to have it written down on paper so that I can reflect on it and really stop and think, do I want this or do I need this? Whatever. Well, need, it's not really need, it's more like want. Okay, so we're just going to go over receipts and prices. So, yeah, I talked about how Euphoria was 50 and then my parents paid the other 20 for my name. And then we've gone over quite a few receipts. Let me just finish up. So, right, chip, we went over that. And then <clears throat> this is just the typical paper which you get when you are interested in a letter, a word, a name, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> you know how I choose you for you. Chose. So, this was the 23rd, and this was Catherine. And I would definitely go to her if and when you go to Disney and are interested in something like I got. She's just awesome and I really love her style. I was about to get another guy. I saw him either the day before or whatever it was. And I don't know. He, he was good too, but he wasn't there. And I'm almost glad he wasn't. Not in a rude way, but I wouldn't have gotten Catherine. So, right. I do have some fast passes. These are my favorite rides. However, I can't really say that they are my favorite anymore because I like the Tower of Terror slash Guardians ride now. You know, the elevator that drops. So, so good. But I do like these ones. I have Space Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. I like the style of Big Thunder and just how crazy and fun it is. And then Space Mountain, it's pitch black. My brother Dakota likes to go, Space! Glad? That's random glad that they changed Space Mountain back to how it was before. For a while there, it was too Star Wars-y and too bright. And there can't be too much Star Wars, but at the same time, sometimes there really can be. And that was just one of those times. Right, so this next trip, I'm thinking about several things. So they have two sweaters, there's a Snow White theme, and then a Minnie Mouse theme, and then there's a Disney Map sweater, and then we have more cups, so there's a Snow White one, you know, the apple that's dipped into the poison. And then there's also another teacup. It's like a Alice in Wonderland and Alice in Wonderland one, which is another physical pun to me, just because it looks like how it would actually look, if that makes sense. So then also what my dad got to, I thought that was pretty sweet. And then the Alice box, I have the paper, more information on that. And it seems to always be sold out, so it's a really good idea to get it online. And so the Alice box I'm still thinking about. They have other themes that I'm also into, especially the Snow White one. That's adorable. I love that one as well. So the chip teacup mug that I had my eye on before, I got that. And then name or word in roses flowers, that's what I got that. That's what I got. I don't know if I told you guys that. It looks like roses and flowers. They do do, they do do, characters as well, however, I thought that was kind of sort of kiddish, and it was too much of a specific theme, and so I just decided to go with someone, something more in general, guys, not making any sense, am I stuttering and making words wrong, I guess that's not really stuttering, Emily, just shut up, okay, and then face paint, I wanted to do face paint just because I wanted to, you know, 
do some pictures and then parasol i'll do that on ebay but like if they had a roasters i was just thinking about this if they do roasters or if they do like dutch bros there's roasters in my area and well, several the lines would be like way long guys like longer okay this is all over the place now i'm gonna end here so okay bye